All right, Brandon, what have you got so far? I see some k &S brass, an angle grinder, a nice, beautiful chunk of, what is that? Walnut. Gorgeous. Can you guess what I'm making? <laughs> no, I could make about 300,000 things from this assortment here. I'm making a crossbow. <gasps> have you made a crossbow before? I have never made a crossbow, but no. But clearly you've always wanted one. <laughs> In the beginning, I really wasn't too worried about it because um, I was like, okay, I need some metal and I need some wood, a few doodads, and that should be it. But it actually ended up being a big problem. Is this mild steel? It is. I Unfortunately, I was looking for spring steel, but no one had anything. I needed a piece of very flexible steel, and I thought, those are so common, that'll be no problem to find. But I wasn't able to find anything but a piece of um, mild steel, which when you pull it back too much, it will just give and then not be springy anymore. So walk me through the construction. So um, I've got my walnut for the stock. I might mill out the center and then have this as the core. For loading it, I have uh, two options. I got two rods here. Mm -hmm. uh, this thing to step on. And, uh, to oh, nice. Okay, cool. Got it. A laser pointer. I see. <laughs> well done. God, I love this stuff, don't you? It's been one of those things I've never gotten around to, but I've always wanted a fully loaded rack in my shop. I'd feel like, I'm done. I've made it. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like all three of them are being incredibly ambitious with what they've got to complete in two days. Two I'm, days. It's a day and a half, really. I'm a little nervous. I, I mean, any one of those projects would be difficult for me to... I'd look at that and be like, oh my gosh, where do I even start? <sighs> Trying to think how exactly I'm gonna mount this inside of here. So I'm getting ready to um, mill out the, the core of this so I can put my steel in here. And I'm using the metal mill to uh, do most of the work. All right, so I've made my main cut here. And what I have to do next is come up and over and then plunge down for the trigger assembly. So I got a little bit excited on the mill and I didn't test my steel in here before I cut everything and pull it off. So I'm, I'm gonna try it now and, and hope it fits. It looks nice. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So um, sort of to compensate for not having the right steel, I ended up reinforcing the center of it so that that's not where it would collapse. The reinforcement made it so difficult for the bow to pull. Yeah, this is a, a, an acetylene torch, but instead of using it to cut the metal, I'm just gonna use it to heat up the ends of the bow. These are the little pegs, and I'm gonna bend them forward so it would be more difficult for the, the bowstring to come off. I'm gonna do a critical part right now. I have the, the center beam, and I have the, um, the bow, and I'm gonna weld the center beam to the bow. But I also wanna remove um, the rest of the material on either side of the grip. A little, little too fat to hold right now. Yeah, Okay. unless you had a weird T-shaped hand. So now um, I've taken off all the large chunks and now like sort of the artistic part begins where I'll just be using shaping tools to take some off and I'll feel it and I'll look at it and um, keep doing that until it feels and looks nice. Um, at the end of day one, I was pretty confident because I could pick it up and it looked like a crossbow. I could easily visualize how I was, um, it would all come together, but I knew I had to hurry to be able to finish. Brandon, how's it going, man? I don't want to slow you down, but tell me how it's going. My bow is just too hard to pull, so I'm baking in a curve. And you're getting a proper amount of springiness? I don't know about proper, but it's much better than it was when it was flat. How about the uh, wood? Can I, oh, look at that, dude. <laughs> it's looking great. Clearly the, the steel of the bow itself has been causing him a huge amount of trouble. You couldn't find the right metal. I'm not gonna be able to do everything that I hoped. As the deadline approached, I'm sort of going through my head and prioritizing the tasks I have left. I, I thought I've got to have a string across the, the bow. Mm, that's another reason to make it tighter. Whoa, I just roasted that. I got my bowstring here, and I'm gonna try to hook it up. I'm gonna sit on it. Ow. <laughs> the first time I was able to test the bow, I was able to pull back the string, let it go and hear it twang, which was very satisfying. I grabbed a pencil and I put it in there. Everyone, like, scattered. Yes, take that saw blade. Of course, I wish I had enough time to sand and polish the stock and do like a really nice trigger assembly and then like, you know, cover everything with little brass plates. But I think I'm gonna have enough time to have a firing crossbow, which I feel pretty good about.
if I get the radius just right, then when the arrow sits in there, the, um, the string will hit right in the middle of uh, the bolt. Five minutes. Coming right down to the wire, I thought I was gonna be have a functioning crossbow. It was about one minute before um, the end of the time. I had the bow cocked, I had the trigger in there. As I fired it, the string broke at the loop, and now I had 30 seconds and a pile of garbage. <laughs> all right, guys. This is tricky. I mean, these guys are all really well matched. And that these three tackled these three projects in the last 14 hours and came out with this. I do have an idea about who I think has come out ahead. 